Hi everyone! Are you a fleet leader? Or perhaps you're curious of what happens behind the scenes in your fleets? Well, in this video, I'll be covering all aspects of fleet management and all tabs inside the Fleet tab. Now, before I begin, I will be um, working on a couple of videos over the next few weeks, um, namely tours of all the different um, fleet holdings. So look forward to that, and please subscribe. Thanks. All right, let's get started. So first up is the Overview tab. Well, it gives you an overview of all the things about your fleet. Of course, there's the message of today, which, if given permission, you can edit. So let's say, well, I wrote, join our Discord, la da 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 uh, For example, I can, I don't know, write stuff in and just click somewhere else and it'll save. Whoops. Alright, and also, yeah, just as I've showed, uh, you can scroll through the status of all the fleet holdings. Below you'll see fleet activities such as if somebody increased in grade, as shown here, or some other things like that. And of course you can look at the featured projects in this area, and also the events. Now, of course, the most important tab is the Holdings tab, where you would make your um, fleet credits. So, using the Starbase as an example, you have Status, which gives all the experience points and everything of the um, holding. You can Contribute, of course. You can check on provisions for um, all the items that you can buy from these holdings. And, not so important, maybe important to you, depending on how you rank your uh, fleet members, the amount of um, credits per person contributed to this uh, holding. So, of course, the con Contribute tab is the most important one. Um, as fleet leader, I get to um, select projects before the previous one is uh, completed, so it auto-deploys um, when, of course, this one completes, for example. So at the moment, um, the Colony World is the only one in my fleet that um, is not yet fully um, upgraded, so that's what, that's what we're working on with projects that um, boost the experience for um, the holding. Of course, um, special to the Colony World is the Coffer, which generates items required for um, the projects. Now, my other um, holdings are actually empty right now because um, to best um, direct the, the, the lithium towards the colony world, I'm not putting up any projects that would cost the lithium. And unfortunately, the other holdings all have projects that cost the lithium, so those are on standby for the moment. Of course, if provisions run low, I will be putting up projects. But um, that method of um, management is, of course, up to your fleet leaders. And here I have projects in the Starbase because these ones do not cost the lithium. Anyways, moving on. Yep, all these um, different projects that you can do. Next up is, oh right. And you could also um, edit the Starbase, uh, uh, the, the holding message if you want to, and also you can also rename your um, your holding if you wanted to. Regularly, this would be called Research Lab, but uh, I've changed to interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary Research Center, and also Shadow Broker HQ. All right, next up is the news. So. Depending on if you prefer star date or Earth date, you can check out things that happen um, over time in your fleet. And also, for the fleet, um, the fleet vault or fleet bank, you can also find out what other people have been using, if um, that is what you wish. And of course, the message of the day can also be edited here. In the events tab, you can, uh, if given permission, create events. 
and also edit events. For example, if I edit this, uh, you can choose start date, the time, if you want the event to repeat itself, you can choose that, rank requirements from maximum to uh, maximum to minimum, and also the minimum fleet rank, and also if you want to give um, certain fleet ranks the uh, the ability to edit the event, you can do so, and also attendance. Of course, you can RSVP and press the set maybe out and also leave a message if you want to. And for example, if I create a new one, I can set all the title, description, all that, the time, everything. And of course, there's the roster where you can, um, on this drop down menu, you can select status, which is the last time they've uh, logged in, if, it, if they're logged out. Actually, let me, let me press show offline players. This way, um, we can display status a lot better. So, yeah, it shows how, the last time that they were logged in. And, of course, the, the date they joined the fleet, the date they uh, changed ranks. Overall, holding a contribution. So, in my fleet, I, um, I um, promote people based on the amount of credits that they um, contributed to the to the fleet among other accolades so uh, yeah I can press on this fleet rank tab to go from maximum to minimum and uh, helps with organization and promotions and also if you want to organize it by other methods you can do so of course there's the export kick promote and uh, reinstate and demote um, buttons and uh, when it comes to uh, rank 7, which is the top rank, hold on one second. Um, demoting and promoting takes two weeks, and you can only demote and, or promote one at a time. But that's, yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> In the Informations tab, you can edit the name, or you can edit the description. In here, I've put some basic information and also um, requirements for um, promotions and stuff like that. If you have a website, you can put that in. And for search tabs, you can put these um, various um, various tabs in. Of course, the minimum rank for joining, level, uh, not exactly the best sample, but Say I put Lieutenant, it would go from 5 to 10. Uh, you can hide your fleet from the search, uh, the fleet search if you want to be a private, very, 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 very private fleet. And also hide the fleet search member list if you want to, but whatever. <laughs> There's the recruiting message, which you can also edit for, uh, for when your fleet appears in the fleet search. And uh, yeah, that's the information tab. In settings, you can select permissions for various um, fleet ranks. For example, if I wanted to give see my uh, oh, also you can uh, edit the the rank name. My fleet goes with a spy agency theme, so <laughs> recruit asset operative agency your operative director la di da da. Um, <laughs> So, for example, um, let's say I give this the senior agents the ability to manage fleet ranks. So I can just click that, and I, I can also click it again to remove it. And also, if you want to, you can create a fleet uniform. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So create uniforms if you want to make a fleet uniform. I've also made uh, one specific to uh, Romulans because Romulans. Well, actually no, Romulans can wear. Um, what is it? Um, Klingon and uh, Federation uniforms now. So that tab is kind of moot now. But yeah, okay. You can also delete it or add uniforms. You can also change the fleet emblem. Select, uh, for example, uh, a base shape, 
shield or square patch or whatever. Uh, for the background, you can select an emblem. Let's say animal cat. So we have a cat now. Uh, you can choose the background, uh, the foreground, which is any symbol, of course, again. Let's say Romulan. And of course, you can choose the rotation and size and position of them, as well as colors. All right, just going to cancel that. And the final tab is the Armada tab. Now, my, arm my Armada is fully filled. So, um, the purpose of the, the Armada is... Um, if your other fleets, if the other fleets in the um, armada give you permission, you can contribute things to other fleets as well. As you can see, some um, some tabs are blanked out, and you can control that in settings of the armada. And um, for example, here at the top, the alpha fleet, which is mine, Shadow Burger. We get to um, control the beta fleets, which are the Knight of Camelot, Turbulent Flow, and Photonic Legion. We have the ability to kick them if wished, and um, other, other, other than that, the Gamma fleets, uh, the Alpha fleet cannot touch at all. But while they can still contribute to them, um, the kicking and adding of um, Gamma fleets is up to the beta fleets. Now in, in settings, you can disable certain um, contribution tabs inside your starburst if you want, uh, inside your uh, your holdings if you want, if you don't want the the other Arm armada members to join. I mean, uh, armada members to contribute to it. But for incoming, I allow everything. So just out of fairness and fair trade to the other armadas. Of course, unfortunately, some of them are not allowing us to contribute to them, but that's fine. You can also control outgoing, so um, I'm controlling the outgoing flow of Dilithium, so our colony world can uh, quickly upgrade up, but after that's done, I will uh, let those go free. Also, you got a replicator here, where, where you can also access this from your um, inventory, but um, here's where you can get various... Um, items required for your fleet holdings. So, for example, the embassy provisions you require for um, projects inside the embassy. Where is it? Here it is. Yep, 17 embassy provisions, for example. Alright, so um, that's the, the fleet tab. Let's run over to the fleet bank, because as fleet leader you also get to um, control the flow of items inside the fleet bank. So inside the fleet bank you can uh, have various tabs which can be um, which can be renamed and also you can can be bought with the fleet energy credits where you can uh, contribute and uh, or withdraw depending on permissions. So for example with increasing um, with increasing rank, I give increased permission of uh, of the daily with withdrawal limit. And for example, I have a special access tab for uh, fleet leaders for various rare items, research materials, project materials. But uh, we have lock boxes instead of actual project materials. Prize pools for events, which have been kind of dead in my fleet right now, but that's fine. Um, at times I would still do giveaways and stuff like that, for example during Christmas or summer and stuff. Um, and I put in other for like any other things. <laughs> of course you can click the storage tab to see what people have um, been withdrawing, which you can also see inside the information, uh, no, the news tab inside the, the fleet tab. Of course the new repository um, tab is um, blank now because we already have as many um, repositories as we can have. Alright, that's everything I have on fleet management. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please subscribe, sh like and share, and let's try to reach 1,000 subscribers. And uh, look forward to my fleet tour, uh, fleet holding tours videos in the upcoming weeks.
Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye.